what's going on traders welcome to my stream currently today is the i don't know it's monday we had a couple of movers here today and i just want to discuss how i how the week went and how the day went today is monday well, let me let me raise this just a little bit higher there we go so uh, a couple of things happened today um you had gtii going to the moon it hit like nine dollars uh, the, the reason I wanted to make this video is that I don't like trading after 10.30 and I want to discuss why I don't like trading after 10.30 or 11 or 11 something. Anyway, so um, the reason I don't like trading after 10.30 is because there's a lack of uh, volume and some of the breakouts that happen, uh, they might just fail. There was, a, there, was a, there was a breakout today that happened, it was alerted in chat. I think it was sober in the middle of the day and I watched it and I you know stayed back and I didn't do anything it was SOBR or something like that I don't remember which one it was but anyway the stock broke like I don't know 320 or something went to 350 and it dumped like 250 I don't remember which ticker it was but uh, this was a midday breakout so so after after 11 looking you know it's very um, it's very choppy so I avoid I avoid that type of trading that's for sure I avoid the volume low volume choppy sideways so I avoid so after 10 30 11 I'm like I'm good I made my money and uh, I pretty much uh, pretty much pretty much get out of there so uh, the only the best time to trade is actually between 7 o'clock and like uh, 11 o'clock you avoid when the algos come in between 11 and 4, 11 and 3, and then you look for into the close movers. Um, today we had GTII, which pretty much went to the moon. You had uh, a couple of other ones that went to the moon. ATHX, which I pretty much bought it at like, I don't know, I bought it Friday at around 860, sold it at 10, and then ATHX, I bought it again at 12. And it hit, I don't know, 15. That was my greatest trade of the day. Just these these low floats. Uh, you know, it's it's really difficult out there in the market. There's no doubt about it. We've been uh, selling off up on, from uh, the beginning of the year. The worst, uh, for the worst stock market, uh, the most ye yearly start uh, since uh, stock market history. Um, and we are technically in a bear market. We're kind of bouncing. Um, there's definitely some opportunity up there. There was a stock that went from like 10 cents up to like 50 cents. I don't know what it was. F H R X or something like that. That was a great trade. That was a great trade. And it, in the middle of the day, it actually broke like 40 cents and ran to like 60 cents. That's probably one of them that I should have uh, longed. Uh, not all of midday breakouts are going to fail, but the, the probability of them succeeding is very slim i mean when when you the mo the mo where you get the volume is in the morning that's when the traders come in the traders come in in the morning there's nobody waking up at three two o'clock uh, and then they're like you know the stocks in order to go up they need to move if you don't have volume they don't move so you know if you if you missed you, you didn't make money between seven and eleven and then and then say you want to make up your losses and so forth it's just you might as well start the next day because it's just gonna you know right now we've been a pretty hot market this week i would have to say there were a couple of short squeezes and we had a couple of ones that have been going up like seven days in a row which was pretty pretty uh, pretty crazy to have stocks go up seven days in a row like gti and everybody's like watching my uh, youtube streams on gti what am i supposed to say i don't know it's holding green on the day which is over 650 or over 550 and uh so far it's just it's just it's there as long as it's holding green on the day that uh, the 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 thing is good i honestly think it's done it hit nine dollars is the end you buy it into friday you sell it into monday uh, it's game over but i don't know maybe it'll just go even higher i, I don't know i i always i always sell too soon sometimes and uh, don't cut my losses too soon either sometimes so it's just a matter of being the best trader you can be so you should avoid trading after 11 o'clock that's for sure anyway 
Uh, trading is difficult. 90% of traders lose money. I mean, a lot of people are just going to, you know, it requires discipline. I preach to, you know, track data, to be disciplined, to study. Probably studying would be something that I really preach a lot for you guys to do. Study, I mean, when I was like a couple of three, four or five years ago, I, I put on my iPad every single course I could and I would used to watch it and watch it and watch it and I'm like, where is this midday low float breakout intraday and all that? And I was like, where? And I was just sitting there and I was watching it broke, broke, had no money, um, was unsuccessful. Uh, you know, I had problems and, um, you know, but I kept studying. You have to continuously study even when you're losing and even when shit sucks. Because uh, if you don't, it's just, it's the end. It, it's, it's game over only when you quit. The thing I'm trying to get you guys to understand. It's game over only when, it, when you quit. As soon as you quit, you either are progressing or regressing. That's the same thing with picking up girls. You're either progressing or you're regressing. Same thing with trading. Either you're progressing or regressing. Same thing with fitness. Either you're progressing or regressing. Right now I'm just cutting out some carbs out of my diet because I've been trading and working for too freaking long. So you can see, you see me just a little bit more puffy than usual because I take all my aspects of my life seriously, including my mind, my body, of course, my lovely spirit, which is pretty intact, I would say, supposedly all the trauma that we all go through. So actually, this amazing uh, Gatorade, this is the Gatorade that has 10 grams of protein, by the way. I just got this. You never, you always got to have the most amount of protein. Anyway, so the book I've been reading today is that, you know, you have to be disciplined. That's the thing. Of, I, I, I'm reading like some some something of the gods online right now uh, i just downloaded a book it was talking about this book that you know once you lose your track and once you lose your focus and once you lose discipline and once you lose your morals and you put you don't put in the time and you have like this instant gratification economy and instant gratification people you're just gonna have a bunch of losers a bunch of entitled losers out there they're just gonna you know, they're just going to expect a quick fix. I mean, you might show up on November, December, January and like, you know, have a stock going to the freaking moon. But I mean, in the long, long scheme of things, if you don't have stop losses, if you don't know what you're doing, if you're just YOLOing it, I mean, every single guy that was YOLOing and following YouTube videos about crypto lost all this money. And I had plenty of friends that did that. And I'm like, hey, you have to sell. Hey, don't look at it as it's going down. Hey, don't don't drink the Kool-Aid. Hey, but they didn't listen and they probably lost more than they made in their crypto stuff. So now they're like, they're like, whatever. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. I told you what you need to do. It's the same thing with this trading, small caps and OTCs. You have to lock in your profit and not look at them. You cannot just hold empty bags. If you're down more than 20%, get out. If you're down more than, I don't know, 1500 or maximum loss per ticker, you got to get out. Nobody knows the future. Nobody owes you anything. No, trading is hard. 90% of traders lose money and they don't put in the time. I used to put in the time consistently. Every single day, I used to watch a video from a lot of traders, which I, I am not going to name. Um, Timmy, the warrior dude, uh, the, the, what is it? The... Uh, investing something I'm not you, you know the t the names of the people that I used to watch and I'm watching the underground dude um, the 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 Tim guy I mean I'm not gonna name like all the big hype of all the people that trade well but what I've discovered as part of how I trade I like low floats I like to wake up in the morning and I like to buy them and I like buying OTCs and I take, you know, 40 cents a share and I come in and I come out and then I leave 10, 30, 11, unless I see something exciting, unless we're something in the market. It's been working out great. The, the, the key ingredient here is to have a maximum loss per ticker and maximum loss per day, like a broker liquidation. Because otherwise, I mean, if you're on the wrong side of the trade, like I was on ATXI on Tuesday, I was shorting it at five. The broker eventually bought me in. You can pretty much end your career in one stock. Trading is rewarding, but you know you need to have your safety 
um, safety rails uh, there just in case you just press the wrong button and you're on the wrong side of the, tr the train. Nowadays, I, I, I do pretty well now. I do pretty well. No, I did pretty well today. I, I had a 20% profit, a 12% profit, and then another like 5% profit. So overall, I traded the top tickers and then another one I had a loss. So that was, that, that was it. So uh, I was reading a book, like coming back to the book, like the, the, the Return of the Gods or some crap like that. Anyway, so how, you know, how this, uh, you know, we're in the United States right now and, and suddenly these houses are going from 300,000 up to 600,000. And they're like, you know, instead of the mortgage being like 2,000, now it's like 4,000. So, you know, you have, you have a lot of, you know, you have the most prosperous nation on earth that is just losing his uh, losing its roots kind of deal it's not and, and that's like everybody around the world it's, it's a lot it's very competitive very hard and um, it's just uh, it's just not you know trading is not something you treat lightly uh, you, we don't have the same market conditions as we did in the 1970s 1980s we have different market conditions we have war with Putin and they're trying to join NATO. I mean, you got uh, Ukraine's trying to join NATO. I mean, you got I don't know what what else I was reading in the news. You have like uh, UK uh, prices are like three times this much. Um, I mean, not that you know, there's not there's not there's no coronavirus uh, thing going on in Florida or New York or you know Georgia or. You know, there's no coronavirus kind of deal like like it has been in Europe and uh, or you know Australia or all these things. There's it's no it's no uh, you know it's not bad you know to live in the states. It's just that uh, trading is difficult. You have to you know uh, you have to study. You cannot just come in and expect you know somebody to buy and sell for you and do the work for you. You have to study. There's no instant millionaire uh, that's just going, you're not going to become an instant millionaire. And even those people that became instant millionaires on a crypto pump, say he bought a $5,000 at 0 0.0001 and now it's like a dollar and he's a millionaire. I mean, those guys have no risk management. They can go easily to a, to a million and back down to zero. Risk management, maximum loss per ticker, and... Uh, you know, be humble. Be humble. Show up and treat it as a job. You cannot treat it as gambling. This is not gambling. I'm sure for some people this is like, let's YOLO it. Let's, let's put it in the retirement fund. No, market changes. And the mar markets uh, humble people really quick if you do not um, respect your, your stop losses. There's, you can be a millionaire. <laughs> you can be a millionaire in... Uh, the same year and back down to homeless that's the beauty and curse about this market so respecting rules respecting stop losses um you know my maximum you should have a maximum loss per ticker at all times and if that thing hits you have to exit so the reason i don't trade after 10 30 like i said trying to spit it around is because lack of lack of liquidity and half of the breakouts that happen during the middle of the day fail so i pretty much make my money i study up in the middle of the day i look at the gainers that happen during the day so i can trade the next day and then i repeat and i move on but the thing about this you know recession inflation whatever this is felt all around the world and uh, we just lost our ways of doing the work you have to do the work there is no like there is no like super pill you can take and you can just press a couple of buttons and like a month you can you know have a lambo it just doesn't happen it doesn't exist and if it does you're you're just part of the 0 0.002 that did it in on some crypto pump you have to put in the work have to study have to watch the videos have to put in the time and the hours i mean at one point i was watching so many stocks you know I, I pretty much, yeah, it's, yeah, I've been trading for a long time, let me put it that way, and I've been watching the market for a long time, and I have, uh, 
I have a pretty good um, understanding of it and uh, you're gonna have to you know study <laughs> there's no way around it you're gonna have to study but you should not trade after 11:30. you should not trade after 10 30 because half of them are failed breakouts and it's and especially in a slow market they become choppy and they become into like a channel that is probably the reason why uh, I don't trade after 11 um, so that's about it I'm gonna leave it as that it's been a pleasure you, you gotta go outside you gotta recharge your batteries what I like to do is I like to go into nature nature recharges me going into mountains going for a walk do some light activity put in a little book uh, you know don't don't play video games you have to be calm during trading you have to be calm if you're not calm you cannot think straight if you cannot think straight you press the wrong button and you and you get emotional and you buy too high or sell too low and then it's just ruined you have to be in sync with the market and you have to be zen like <laughs> you have to be in zero neither happy neither sad you have to be in the middle and just trade what you see that's all I gotta that's all I gotta say make sure you take take the time to recharge your batteries a lot of people go through like this marathon like two three months of trading every single day seven o'clock make their money and then do it do it do it do it and then they give it back and then they give back all their profits you know after two months of trading with one bad trade so you have to recharge your batteries you have to have maximum loss you have to Treat it as a business because, uh, you know, it could be rewarding. Like, and uh, like I said, it's, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. You know, have some audible books. What, what I like to read right now, The Return of the Gods or something like that. Some Frederick. I read, I read, I read the latest Frederick Dotson. I think it was a reality creation, I don't know, number seven book. Number seven essays, essays on something. I, I, I listened to that guy. That guy is pretty cool. He's, he's, he's very enlightening. And, uh, you know, I, I read about like macro deals, but, you know, people uh, around the world are not really excited about this situation in the markets. They're not excited about the situation worldwide with the food inflation, with the cost of living. We're not really living in a, <laughs> an abundant economy, more like a recession and uh but but if you do the work i mean and you have good risk management you study and you watch and you i mean you can come out with a really good decent living and if you f avoid dating the wrong chicks because i'm because most of my most of my subs are male and uh girls these days are not really the marriageable type uh avoid the avoid the dating the non-marriageable type that's for sure um but um, as long as you do that, I think you'll be alright. You'll be alright. You know, just keep on, um, keep on d d drilling at it, drilling at it, because one day it'll just be worth it. It'll just, um, you'll just come out ahead, and you'll be looking at your friends, and you're like, you know, you'll be looking at your best, your ex best friend, and you'll be like, hey, you're a loser. You know, I'm traveling the world. You know having models trying to lock me down in a relationship which I don't want <laughs> I don't want a model that has that that is good want me as a relationship there and that, not 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 lately not not the not the post wall or the pre wall ones I want like the young ones the 22 year olds you're gonna be looking at your friends and they're all broke and envious and you're gonna have to complain to them how hard this life is and how difficult it is to pay your bills and you're going to have to lie to them to not have them ask you how well you know what are your actual numbers and you're going to lie to them and it's going to be great and you're going to live a good life but you have to do the work if you do the work it's going to be great if you do not do the work and if you you're some entitled person that's just gonna you know watch a movie uh in, gone in 60 seconds or some movies just it's just not gonna happen it's just not gonna happen so avoid trading between 11 o'clock and 3 p.m. recharge your batteries do something healthy I like to take care of my body and this is our bodies our temple and you should you should always 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 um, you know treat yourself well because you know don't let anybody 
tell you that you can't do it. You can do it. If you put in the time, you can do it. You can put in the time, you will get there. And uh, I mean, the market changes. From one week, it's bearish. From one week, it's bullish. You're going to have to, you know, handle those highs and lows. And you can handle them by being in Zen mode. Practice meditation. Practice going in the woods. That's what I like doing. I like going in the woods to be by myself, by my thoughts, and how and center myself, and not you know let anybody's opinion influence me. Because if you let anybody's opinion influence me, like some guy's anger or some guy's euphoria, you're just not gonna think straight. And um, you know, trading is a very lonely business. That's why, uh, but that's why I got the chat room for you guys to come in there and uh, you know talk about some tickers so we can trade them tomorrow. It's been a pleasure. You guys have a good one. Peace out. I'm going to go back to my stuff. All the best and hope you guys uh, you know are enjoying your life as I am. Peace out.